Add Visual Cues. This tutorial will show you how to use visual cues to create more effective maps. You'll learn how to use boundaries, add relationships, code topics with markers, and task information. Mind Manager enables you to add a variety of visual cues to your map to show information without detracting from the map's content. Use boundaries to group or summarize topics. To begin, select the parent topic of the tree you want to surround with the boundary. To create the boundary, click the boundary toolbar buttons pull down and choose a boundary type. When the boundary appears, the blue box shows that it is selected. Now to format the boundary, control click it and choose Format Boundary. Use the inspector to change the boundary's line and fill colors, shape, line pattern, and weight. When you want to summarize topics, use a summary boundary. Add a callout to this boundary to include your summary text. Add a relationship to show connections between topics. To begin, click the Relationship Toolbar button. Click the first topic in the relationship, and then on the second topic. Drag the relationship's handles to reshape it. To format the relationship, control click it and choose Format Relationship. Use the inspector to change the relationship's line color, shape, pattern, weight, and start and end arrows. Like boundaries, you can add a callout to explain the relationship between the topics. Code topics with markers and task info to classify topics and provide critical details. To add a marker to the topic, select the topic and open the inspector. Click the inspector's Markers Inspector tab to see a list of available markers and their meanings. Click on any marker to add it to the selected topic. You can add a variety of markers to your map without detracting from the map's content. The markers list is dynamic and you can tailor it to fit your needs. Click the Options button to add, rename, and remove individual markers and marker groups. You can add even more information using the Task Info Inspector. The information from the Task Info Inspector appears in a small box beneath the topic. You can use this information to track progress on all your upcoming tasks. In this tutorial, you learned how to use visual cues to create more effective maps.